I have book mail, as if you couldn't tell. This is, it's either the July box or it's the August box because the July box is running late because there was an issue with the printers and the books are having to be hand finished, which can take ages. So this could either be July or it could be August. Let's find out. And I know I say it every time, but this box is just, look at it, so lovely. But let's see what we've got in this one. Peekaboo. It's odd to have the book on top. Um, I think it's the first box that the book is on top. It's the first time that the book is on top. Um, but which box is this? So looking at the little bit of paper, um, this is the July box which was delayed because of production issues and you can see this is the book. The reason why it's probably, it's chunkier than normal, it's probably why the book's on top is because it was, you know, added last. But let's have a look at some of these goodies. Goodies first, then book. So up first we have the usual, there's a, char a character card with a note from the author on the back, which I shall read later, but look at that character artwork. And we have more character artwork on here. This hat, this is the card to give the dates for the read-along in the Discord server, um, but yet yeah, this is the weeks for the Discord server. I mean, you can read it all in one go, there's nothing stopping you from it but you can only interact with the weeks where the read-along is up to and no spoilers. So then we have the signed um, sticker card um, that can either be kept in your book as just a an insert or you can peel the back off and actually stick it in. So with every butterfly book box that we get, we do get a bookmark which goes with the book and this is the one for this one which gives the title of the book Hidden Beneath the Embers and on the back is more brooding character artwork. So I have a little pot um, for these bookmarks because I have put them in my little gothic romance one although I know they're not gothic, they're usually fantasy. That's the pot that I'm using. So we have, like, I've got the one for the cur A Cursed Kiss which was the first one I got, the one for Mate Me which was the second one, and then A Rivalry of Hearts, which I haven't read yet, and now Hidden Beneath the Embers. So that will go in its all. You all have a, a little pot all of their own with all these little bookmarks in. So then we have the book prompts. Um, these are for the read-along, but I mean you don't have to do them for the read-along. It has questions about where you are in the book, it goes with the different pages in it. So. Um, like this one, um, do you think this is a good idea, what do you anticipate doing next? Um, and then it has a quote and the page number that this card relates to. So you don't get spoilers going through it unless you actually want to look at some of them. And they're all done with this lovely character artwork on here and the Butterfly Book Club wraparound thing. I thought this box felt heavier than usual and that's because there is this in it too. Look at that artwork, wow! Oh I like that, I like that artwork a lot. Um, and it has a quote on the back saying, my soul is damned anyway. Which, I feel there's going to be brooding in this and I love a brooding book. But yeah, this looks to be a reading journal, because you've got all these book reviews in it. So yeah, the pages are, so it's sprayed gold edges so you can hear the crackle when you open it. I love hearing the crackle when you open it. And it's got this wonderful artwork, I love the crackle. And it's got this lovely artwork inside. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to start filling this out. I could probably, I could start filling this out right now. But the book I'm reading at the minute, I don't think I like it. Um, so I don't want to start something like this with a book that I don't like. 
So yeah, I will start writing in this. This is going to come in very, very useful. So yeah, on to the book. And I say it in every unboxing, I love this, this bag thing. I, I ripped one and I nearly cried. But this feels a lot, lot thicker than the other books that I've got. Oh, smooth. So yeah, I am right. This is a chunky book. This is a chunky book. Look at the size of that. Because the last or the few books, they're usually like this size. With books, you can say that size doesn't matter, but really, the bigger the better. This is Hidden Beneath the Embers by Faye Beck. And I like that the cover, um, it's, oh, it's book one in the Dark Curse series. Seems like it's going to be a book for me as well. I say that on so many books recently, but when I get round to them, they usually are. Yeah, this is the front, I like that the front cover, it's, it's dark, it's understated, and a, it's got the usual quote on the back of it. Um, all the books from the Butterfly Book Club have a quote on the back. Um, and this one is, you know the devil can't resist a hunt, dearest. But let's see what it looks like underneath its covers. Oh, I didn't show you the sprayed edges. So it has black on the bottom. It has black on the top, black on the bottom, and a sword in flames in the middle. That even looks like 3D. I love that. So this is the naked hardcover artwork from the book. I do like these like understated artworks that you get. And then it goes on the spine like a wraparound. And then we have this brooding guy on the back. So I, if we open it, I, I don't quite really do this. Uh, so if we open it up, oh, I don't want to crack it. I don't want to crack it. So it looks like this. I'm liking the look of this one. And this is the inside artwork for it, the front, and the same on the back. Oh, and it has a trigger warning list. Trigger warnings of grief, violence, blood, torture, death, PTSD, emotional and physical abuse, mentioned passing sexual assault, death after childbirth but not cause of death, profanity, sexually explicit scenes, the book ends on a cliffhanger. Well, that don't seem like trigger warnings for me. Grief, violence, blood, torture, death. And it has a pronunciation guide, thank God. That is going to help when I come to review this. And it has a map. I love a book that has a map. Even though I don't look at the map when I'm reading. But I like that books take the time to map out the world. I am looking forward to starting this. Um, it sounds like something that is right, right up my alley. And it's chunky too. So I'm going to decide whether I'm going to DNF the book that I'm reading right now because it's just not. But yeah, I am looking forward to getting into this one. Well worth the wait. Because I can't tell what's hand done. I'm assuming it's the edge that had to be hand finished. But if it is, it's done that well that I can't tell.